The average human lives 25,000 days in a lifetime. What we decide to do with these 25,000 days is up to us. A day trip is a journey to a place outside your hometown and back again, all on the same day. The day trip was invented for those of us who want to embark on a great adventure, but need to be back home the same day to catch our favorite episodes of late night TV. My name is Tyler, and I've traveled all around the world, but some of my best adventures have taken place just outside my home city, San Francisco. And I'm Jessica. I'm new to California and lucky enough to have a pal like Tyler, who's always hankering for a little adventure. Together, we started a tradition where every month we embark on a day trip to a new magical place outside San Francisco. I'm psyched to see what surprise he has in store for me this week. The drive started with crossing the Golden Gate Bridge, which always makes me feel like I'm being transported into a different world. We headed north on the longest highway in California, Route 101. So, I need you to tell me more about the surprise. If I told you it wouldn't be a surprise then, would it? <laughs> Don't you worry. It uh, will pretty much blow your mind. Are you afraid of heights? Eventually, we turned off the highway and twisted and turned our way through green rolling hills, furry moss-covered oak trees, and rushing rivers. Boonville is a small town two hours north of San Francisco. It's most famous for having its own language called Boontling, which I've been told is still spoken today. I wanted to hear what this language sounded like and find out why it originated. So what better place to start than the world-famous Anderson Valley Brewing Company? This must be him. John? Hey, so good. I'm Tyler. Tyler, Sean Jackson. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, too. All right, well, let's take a tour of the brewery. <laughs> tour it up. Yep. Wow, wow. So what exactly is happening in this room? This is where we're actually going to get warped, which is going to make the beer. And the grain comes from around here? And the grain, no, we get our grain from a couple different areas. So why so, are you located here? This is where the owner decided to make a home. And uh, I believe that uh, also the roads are a key to our beer. The roads? So, the roads, twisty, windy, turny roads. Shakes the beer up a little bit. Shakes the, so shaking the beer is a little secret? To certain people it is. Well, that's why you developed boom, bootling the language, is to keep your secrets. So. Is to keep the secrets, yes. That's what they did in the olden days. In the 1800s, that's what they did. What's your favorite bootling word? Ball hornin'. Ball hornin'? Good drinking. Good drinking. Always. Oatmeal Stout. That was our very first gold medal to the company in 1990. That's delightful. So basically the only way to drink what she's having now is to come to Boonville. Is only come to Boonville. To come yeah. here. To come right here, right to the visitor center yes. in Boonville. VIP. Right. So right now I have a gold medal buzz going on. Is that what it is? Yes, you do. Listen, I'm going to finish my oatmeal. I'll see you in the car. Sean, thank you so much. Hey, you're welcome. I'm glad you guys came here. Is it surprise time yet? Not yet, Jessica. We still need to find someone who can really speak Bootling. Bootling is a 120-year-old language that was created by women, children, and young men in the hop fields and sheep shearing sheds as a means of recreation. Sorry to interrupt you. We're, we're kind of in a rush. We're trying to find someone yeah. who speaks Bootling, so... I can harp a slim about enough to make a bright lighter can kicky, but not enough to shark a palaker. <laughs> I can make a I can speak about enough bootling to upset someone from the city. No. Can you speak bootling yeah. to another person in Boonville? No, no, say, they just say, say they yes. They totally shark. Me. What does shark may mean? Shark. It, shark means to fool someone. So you know, to fool someone to like pull to, the wool over we? their eyes. Yes, to hoodwink. Yes. Okay, Jessica, let's go see if that surprise is ready. Finally. Captain Kirk! So you are the legendary Captain Kirk of Boonville. Yes. And is this is this your uh, your baby? Your this daughter? is a 1946 Piper Cub built in 1946. It was built a year before me. Jessica is is afraid of heights and afraid of flying. And uh, I haven't told her what we're doing here today. Uh, would you care to let us know on what's going on here? Sure. Well, if uh, she'd like to take a ride, it's a beautiful day. It's a gorgeous day for a flight. We could go out for a little spin around here. This is, I take Amtrak. I mean, I'm terrified of playing. Okay. Third box car, midnight train. Destination banger, Maine. Whoa. 
Northern California is not only famous for its award-winning beers and wines, it's also known for being one of the most prolific regions for marijuana growing in the world. Captain Kirk gave me an aerial tour of this cannabis wonderland. <laughs> I suggested we make an emergency landing, but Captain Kirk didn't think the farmers would like that very much. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was so much fun. I'm in love. <laughs> we were going up, and I was like, oh no, we're going up, we're going up. And then I thought we were going to land, and then we didn't land, and we went back up again. He totally fooled me. I was, I was sharked. You got sharked. Adios, amigos. Adios. Blue sky. Blue sky. Blue sky. The sunset signaled the end of our day trip. It was time to make our way back to the city, but not until I had some refreshment. Ready? One, two, three. Oh! It's worse than you'd expect. Man, oh man. Ball horning with Brewmaster Sean, yapping bootling with locals, playing pilot with Captain Kirk, and watching Tyler nearly lose his skivvies to the Russian River. Boonga was full of good times. But where will our next day trip take us? And how will I ever match Tyler's surprise?